right welcome back to the channel to all you lovely subscribers if you're new here great subscribe that's that bit done now a lot of people have asked me about this it's the fox frontier x extension or porch whatever you want to call it and um, when i did the original for the uh, review for the fox frontier if you have a look it's there um, go back and have a look at that. I've also done um, another updated version of that. I'll put that up there. Um, you can go and have a look at it. Tips and tricks, all about it, that sort of thing. Now, this is mainly about the porch. I love the Frontier. You, anybody who knows me, anybody who follows the channel know I absolutely love the Frontier. So, the porch. What I'm going to do, this is, this is just quickly this bit, this intro is in the, in my YouTube studio, but it's not quite finished. You have to ignore the flickering lights. I haven't got my studio lights up at the minute, so that's LED flashing, but we're going to go outside in a minute. I just want to do this bit quickly in here uh, before we go outside because it's raining at the minute and I'm just waiting for it to stop raining so I can go out and do it. I'm going to open the bag, take you around the bits and pieces, show you a few bits and pieces I've seen as I've been using it, how little tips and tricks and that. Um, hopefully I'm going to do an updated version of this in probably later in winter when I've used it a little bit more. I've used it about three times now and um, I don't usually do a review until I've used it for at least six months or more. The problem with this is I don't use it all the while, it's only for longer sessions and as most of you know if you watch the channel I recently moved so I haven't had much time to get out fishing so I thought I'd do this before winter sets in because a lot of people might want this for longer sessions like France or if you're away for a week in England or for people who want to fish with the frontier in the winter and want a bit more room or if someone uh, is, you know is, wants to buy someone one for Christmas this could go on your Christmas list so that's why I thought I'd do it quickly now I have used it like I say two three times and um, I'm going to stick up in the garden and show you my little bits and pieces now and I'm going away this weekend I shall be uh, Trent View, so I shall be using it there. And then I've got another uh, about a five day session down in Cambridgeshire in about three or four weeks. So I'll use it there. So I'll do a bit of an updated one, but this is just to show you, I can show you my bits and pieces for it now. So we'll head out to the garden now as soon as it stops raining and uh, I'll take you around it. So here it is in the bag. First thing you notice is the bag isn't as heavy duty as the one when you get with the bivvy. But it is just a bag, so and it is big enough to take it all. So, right, this isn't an unboxing. Like I said, I have used it. I don't agree with unboxing videos. You need to use it to see what it's like. So, this is just the uh, showing you what it is. So, deluxe heavy duty ground sheet comes in its own bag. This is the uh, Aussie Mesh extension um, panels for the sides. I'll show you them later. We also have heavy duty pegs and yeah um cam lock aluminium frame cam lock side supports i'll show you them in a minute and then your front your extension so chuck that out of the way so i've set the camera back a bit so you can see because you have to uh, put the front together first what you've got is these aluminium poles at the front it's just one big loop at the front so the the two side bits are just round the center piece does have like a little sort of um, flat edge on it so you can't get it wrong so you make sure you get the right shape so I'll spread this out now they just slip together and the centre one you have to make sure you get it the right way I think you can only, can only get it one way because it has got a like I say a panel to it now the thing you'll notice with this is on the bivvies you can detach this this is actually just completely um, on all the wall so you have to just make sure that that is correct and then the next stage is to just stand it against your bivvy and chuck it over the top which we'll do now right so another little tip i've found when i've been taking the bits uh, taking the bits when i've been taking it down and putting it up is the front poles now what i've found is if you take this front bit and flick it over like so oh. what it does it exposes the joints more so you can easily do the, the, the poles if not you try to work under a, a flap so you, your joints are more exposed now and you can then do them and put them together you just have to remember that when you're putting it back up you put your poles together and you must remember to flick all that back over before standing it against the bivvy to put it on so once you've got your frame all put together just lay it against the front of the bivvy 
get you this is the, the vapor shield part of it and then throw it over the back attach your straps this only has three unlike the, the vapor peak that has uh, five this only has three so you attach them velcro them on like so and then you can pull the front out and put the bars on which we'll show you now right these are your three bars there's one that goes in the front center that goes in where your normal one goes for your um, vapor peak you can see it's bent or got a curve in it it's not bent and then you have two side ones with flexible bits on the ends and there's one of those each side to hold it out straight and then your pegs hold it down at the front so we'll do that now and then i'll show you the inside bit how they go on right so we've got the front up and we put the supports in i had to do this i couldn't talk you around doing it, it it's pretty straightforward but i'll talk you around and show you what i've done now so basically once you've got all the framework up sit it against the front of the bivy like you saw throw it over put your three straps on then what i do is pull the front forward a little bit and then you can go in and put your um, bars in at this point i leave the front bars have got adjustments on as well i leave them down and um, and what i do is uh, put the bars in which you'll see i'll show you this bit here so there's the curved bar that goes in the center where you put your nor where you normally put your vapor peak and it goes with the bend facing up and then that goes to the front and you have a cam lock so you can adjust it and then you've got the side one that clips on the side again a cam lock and at the front you can adjust i put them all on before i adjust and then there's the other one the other side when you first put them on they will look as if they're going across the doors don't panic because down in the court down here so we all oh, get the camera down down there you can see there's cam locks either side for those as well and then what you do once you've got the bars on you can then lift them up if you want what i do is i tend to go outside and peg down which i'll show you now before lifting that up so i'll just show you that bit now right so what i do once the frame's on i then put the two pegs in there and so i know they're in the right position then what we do is i go to the front and i peg down here both sides as well and do the door then what i do is go inside and then lift it up so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to set it up and pack it down i'll do them in two separate videos do my time lapse and time it so you know there are a couple of things i do i put my poles out ready i chuck a couple of pegs out ready other than that you know it's it's more or less out of the bag so i'll do that now There you go that's the basics of putting it up what i will do later in the video once i go out this weekend um, i will show you how i have it set up with my beds and my chairs and my tables and all that sort of stuff obviously it changes for different persons and it changes for me every time i use it because i'm still finding my way around using it and different situations so um you, you with the different doors and different that i'll probably but i'll pop them on now so you can see them in a minute because sometimes um you can have it set up differently so you've got three different accesses really so um if the wind changes you can zip one stand and open the other so um you then change your chairs and that and uh, tables and that around so anyway it is um it's made from the uh ventec 20,000 hydrostatic head uh, material the same as the bivy i think i did say that but i'll just point that out and the front poles are aluminium the ca uh, cam lock poles for the sides and the top are aluminium as well and um, it gives you about 1.5 meter extra extra they reckon if we unzip the front of the bivy as well th that can give, make it look even bigger still which again i'll show you that in a minute um, this is the front for the Frontier X um, and it weighs 11.5 kilo apparently. Now you can narrow that down um, because I very rarely use, well, haven't actually used the Grand G yet. I put it in once just to see how it fitted, um, but I've never used it. There may come a time in winter because I am thinking about using this over winter now. So yeah, that, that's, uh, you could take the ground sheet out. You probably don't need all the pegs and you don't need all the sides. So you can narrow it down if you want. Right, so at the minute I've got the front all in 
and I've got the pole on. I leave the poles on even if I take the front out. So I just think it gives a bit more stability up here. You can put the poles aside. So what I'll do is I will take that out now so you can see what it's like. Let's just chuck those in there. So there you go, that's with the front out. And then what I usually do when I have the front out is just put the poles to the side, like that. Still gives you stability on the top, but opens it right up. So you could, I mean, if you've got a partner or you've got a, um, a child you take with you, you could have possibly put two beds in here, I'd imagine, lengthways, and uh, save you buying a two-man bivvy. So multiple options. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll go outside and have a look at the uh, door and window options. Right, so I'm just gonna take you for a quick tour around. So as, as you can see from the back, there's one, two, three points where you Velcro through. Whereas like I say, the normal Vapor Shield has five, so you three on. Same as if you've seen my other videos I say about, you know which one the center one is because it has the logo just here. So you know the logo goes to the left of the pole, you know that's the center one, you can't get it wrong. Then you come around the side, as you can see here, Nice bit of protection if you want to have your window up a bit. It's got a bit of protection there. And then as it comes around, you've got your side door, multiple pegging points. Then you have your guide rope um, there, which you get two guide ropes with it. You've got two rod straps on either side. And then the same this side. And there you can see the full front zipped in. So what I'll do now is I'll put the door in and then put the full mozzie mesh in so you can see the differences with that as well. So there you can see with the clear PVC door in, full front undone, as you can see, nice and wide open there. You can see a lot of the lake from there. So there's the mozzie front on. The mozzie door does undo, it doesn't come completely off, but it undoes up and it's quite a, quite a nice sized door. Okay, so here's a look from the side. There you can see that's got the full side panel in. And there you can see with the side unzipped, so you've got loads of access there if you want to. And there you can see on this side, we have the mozzie panel zipped in. Right, so a little tip when you're putting the fronts and that on, you, so you make sure you put it on the right way. The bit of material at the bottom, it's got two sides to it. This side is the same as a bivvy, that goes to the outside. The inside bit is shiny, so that way you know you're getting it on the right way. Right, so like I said in the previous video, down at Trent View for four days, so I've got it set up with a porch on. Um, because the swim's not very deep, I've had to put, put it sideways in the swim instead of where if it was just a bivvy, I would have had it facing the water. But even so, I've took the front completely out of the bivvy. I've got the side door undone on the porch. So although I'm side onto the lake, I can lay in bed, but I can still see or lay on my bed, should I say, and I can still see the water. Uh, plus where I'm sitting now, I'm sitting in a chair and I can see out the whole lake. Now, I've never used it with just the side door undone before. It's always been the front door. So I have found with the front door, it's not all the front or the complete front undone. And yes, it's nicer, definitely nicer. And because of the height of the door, the side doors, windows, whatever you want to call them, exits, entries and they are a lot lower and I have caught my head a couple of times on the bar as I'm going out. Now it's not a biggie you get used to it but if you're probably six foot you probably want to be, won't want to be going out the side unless you're a limbo dancer. So um, try and use the front as much as possible for that because it is much higher. Another thing I've noticed is the in the video I don't know where I, I must have read this I'll have to look up in the in the uh, manual you get with it but I read somewhere that the pole the, the bend on the pole or the curve on the pole and the center pole has to always face upwards the, every other time I've used it, it has but here it's actually I've got it the other way the curve is down now I don't know if that makes a difference to the height of the bivy in the swim or whatever but this time it didn't fit that way so I've had to have the curve down now it might be that the, the curb is there for that reason. You can have it either way. Um, that makes more sense. But somewhere I must have read or seen that the curb has to go up. So don't take this as gospel. I will look when I get home. Um, so yeah, 
let's say I'm, I've got enough kit in here for four days because my van's parked down the road so I've put everything in here I need for four days and, and a bit more and there's ample room and it's really, really comfortable. Yes, the downside is you're not going to be moving much, although as you'll see in the other video, um, I was thinking of moving this morning, but um, I snoozed, I lost. So uh, yeah, ample room. I, I could quite comfortably do a week in this, no problem whatsoever, and it's really nice. Yesterday it started to rain, and it was lovely. I had uh, the vents undone on one on one side of the bivvy. I had the side door undone, and I had the like the um, big main door on the porch, letterbox style. And it was although it was hot. It was raining, but although it was hot, I was keeping nice and cool, just sitting here in, in the shade, having a beer, just watching the water. So yeah, I'm, so far so good, I'm loving it. I will do another video, I'm out again in about a week's time on a, on a five day um, trip down in Cambridgeshire. So I'll do it again and hopefully get it set up in a different way so you can see what it's like with the front door undone and the two sides shut. So uh, all good so far. Right, so as you can see, I've got the side door undone. Um, so when I'm laying in bed, I can still see it, actually still see all the lake as well. But uh, take you for a tour inside. So down there we've got my water, uh, cob coals, there's the bait boat, a kettle and that sort of stuff. There's my pop-ups. Down there's my waders and my scales. There's all my t uh, tackle under there to tie new rigs, new bait on. I've got the table, what I'm working on. And there's the cool box for the drinking. I've got my Ridge Monkey shower, the cobs down the back. And then I've got loads of bags and bits and pieces chucked at the back of the chair. Got the chair there. Got my, um, my box with all my utensils and bits and pieces in. As you can see, there's the tech tables there with all my bits and pieces and then my bed. And uh, I've still got loads of room, as you can see. Loads of room. So. I think quite comfortably I could get another bed just in here down this side. So yeah, luxury. Not everybody's taste, but luxury. Right, so I'm out again in the porch, like I said I would. I want to show you in a few different ways with different options. So you've got, um, hopefully give you as much information as possible on it. Um, right, one thing I will cl quickly clear up is the bent pole for the center. I looked on the, we had a bit of a, wasn't sure which way it went and this sort of stuff. Now, I most of the time I've used it with the, it comes out straight and then bends up towards the front of the bivvy. I looked at in, in the manual when I got home and that's the way they say in there as well. So that is 99% of the time how I use it anyway. Just that one time it was down. Um, it may have been that the I hadn't got the top, the front extended up high or the, low, the ground level was low, I don't know. But 99% of the time I have a, pole coming out and then the bend going up towards the front of the extension so that's that cleared up so yeah um how i've got it set up this time is pretty much how i'm going to use it i would say most of the time and um, this is my favorite setup i'll show you around in a second um, it, it's really functional i'm here for six days and five nights and everything is in the bivvy or the extension for the, the whole six days five nights i've not got to go to the van for nothing there is food the cob bait um, tech uh, camera equipment cooking equipment uh, solar panels bed two chairs my tackle station my water my shower and um, my clothes um, everything you can imagine i'll show you around in a minute like i say i don't i get to my swim i do not need to go to the van everything is in here so i'll, I'll just show you for like for a real long session this is really really good and um, so i'll do that now i'll take you around and show you it now right i'll just take you for a wander around as you can see i've got the vents undone it's a warm day so it's set up there i've got it set back and um, I've got a chair out there just chilling. Just, there's the lake. So on the front, I've got the front panel in with just the door undone. And then the side, this side's exactly the same. What I have done, it was raining when I first come and the rain was coming down, coming down this way. And I had this door undone as well. So I had the front and the side undone. That's the beauty of all the options you've got. It's quite a bit of choice. Right, so inside, oh, let's have a look. Right, so let's get back a bit. So as you can see down the side, there's my cob, 
There's a um, bag at the back there. With, I've got 10 key of bait in there. That's all, that's all I've got left. And then there I've got, I don't know if you can see that, I've got a call box and a bag. I've got the quarter call compact bag there and then another food bag. That's all my food and drink in those four items there. Then I've got the cob, the, that in there is just my cob coals and lighters. That there is the Fox Session storage table, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did a review on that, so if you want to go and have a look at that, you'll see that fits absolutely beautiful just there. And you can put so much kit in, as you can see in the bottom there. I've got a few more drinks, milk, I've got my remote control for the boat, I've got my power packs, lighting, some camera stuff. In the top shelf, I've got um, food and cutlery and cups and all that sort of stuff. And then on top, you know, your wet waves, kitchen roll, binoculars, glasses, phone, other glasses, sunglasses, lights and all that sort of stuff. And inside there, what I've done is the pole for the bivvy, I've put at an angle so it's out of the way. And the solar panel just sits in there and it, a tree, it just sits in there completely out of the way. And so then I've got my clothes bag. There's loads of bags under the bed, shoes, shower. All that. So I've got plenty of room in here, I can maneuver around. And then I've got my te bivvy table. Let's come in and have a look. Ooh. And then I've got my bivvy table and all my bits and pieces, more camera equipment, my iPad stand and phone stand so I can watch a um, bit of telly when it's dark. Uh, got the new tracker fan, doing a review on that once I've used it. You know me, I have to use them first before I, before I do a review on it. And I've got the tracker chair there and underneath I've got my bait boat. Got the tail drawings, so I've just had a shower. And then down the side there, I've got my water from the kettle and the bait tub. Uh, I've got pop-up tub and wafter tub there. I've got um, PVA and end tackle. And I've got an old bit Fox bivvy table there with all my end tackle on so I can tie my rigs. And then underneath is my kettle, my stove and some more water. So as you can see, I've got plenty of room to have it all set up like this. I haven't got a folder chair down. I just use it as it is. Um, so if you do get a run in the night, you've got a nice straight out of the bivvy to your rods. Ample room with lots of kit. So one thing I do have is I got this tracker hook. You'll have seen my uh, review on them. If not, go and have a look at that. And I do click that around there and you can move it where you want. So if you want to put a light on, as you can see, it can, you can just slide it wherever you want and hang wherever you want from it. I had the mozzie zapper on it last night. And then I've got one of my barra straps. And what I tend, what I did do with that, I don't know if let's show you. I have it clipped on there. I have been using it and clip it on the center. And I think you can see that up there. As you can see, just puts that there. And what I had on there the other day, was I had a pair of shorts and a t-shirt drying. I wouldn't put anything heavy on there but that's just a, another sort of thing you can hang things on. Obviously go too heavy, it'll just pull the bars over. Right, so hopefully that's giving you um, an insight to what it can do um, with the different options. Obviously I'm gonna use it more and the more I use it, I'll probably come up with more options, but like I just showed you that, that, that way I just showed you suits me a treat. So would I buy one again? Um, yeah, I really did want one. If you've seen my original video, I did say at the time um, that a mate of mine had got a tracker bivvy and he had a, like an extension for the front of that. And it'd be, when I did the review for the Frontier, I said if Fox were watching, it'd be nice if they'd build them like one for this. They, they, I think I'm pretty certain they already had it in manual, like sort of testing in their stages anyway. But um, they've brought it out and I really wanted one. The only thing with it was the cost that put me off. I mean, I've had a look up and they're around sort of, the cheapest one I did find was 380 with, with some deals, if you get a couple of deals. Um, and then they go up to about 480 and then everything in between, depending. A lot of money, yes, but it's worth it for me. You need to use it to get your money's worth out of it. If you're a person that, um, you know, you, you could have your Frontier and use that for 24, 48 hour sessions, 72. But then if you're going away to France or you're going for a longer session, but you don't want a two man bivvy and you want space, then this is ideal. It packs down really neat and compact. It can just sit in the corner of your garage or your, your tackle shed and, and then you just get it out when you need it. But, it, but yeah, it is a lot of money but it is quality. I, I, I haven't got any faults with it whatsoever. Um, really, really nice. Um, yes, you get a bit of condensation in here, but it's because it's only single skin. You're gonna get that in any single skin. Um, 
dries really quickly. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I have to confess I didn't buy this. Um, I was bought it as a gift um, for some work I did for somebody. So um, I probably would have still bought one. I, I was actually inquiring about one when I was given it. I rang up um, a mate about who owns a shop and inquired about one. And before he even got back to me, uh, someone had told me they'd already, they, well, they had just, uh, it was supposed to be a sort of a, a surprise, but they'd already got me one. So great, great gift. I love it. I do love it. It is, it is good. One other thing um, I am going to do, the strap that goes across the front, uh, the tension strap, now it's permanently fixed. You can't take it off like you can a bivy, it just carabiners off. Now, today it's not too bad, it's nice and flat, but if you're on an uneven ground, you could trip over it. Now, what I have got at home, I, I had some of these, um, when you buy a tent, you get these really cheapy crap pegs, and they some of them are sort of like, they go flat at the top and down, and I've got three of them, and I put one, one either side of the door and then one in the center. So if I'm there for a long while, that just pins the strap down and you ain't gonna fall over it. Let's say I'll put a picture up here and you can have a look at them. Um, I haven't got it today, don't need it, I ain't tripped over it, it's nice and flat here, and probably nine times out of 10 it will be, but that's just something you could chuck in your bag. Um, they're pennies, you buy them from any camp and shop or any um, cheapy shop, they have loads of them. Um, but that's another thing you could do. One other thing I would do now, against fours and against i've done all the fours against i want to say it's an against and you can get around it quite easily is i like to have the sides on the infills and if you want to undo them a bit you can't it'd be nice if you could have done them like letterbox style so you could just do a little zip it and unzip it a little bit at the top just so you could get some air in Again, they supply mozzie mesh panels, or you can take them completely out, or you can just fold them halfway back. So there is an option, you know, there's plenty of options. That is the only little bit, of, it'd be nice if we could have letterboxed the two sides, so you could have got airflow, but you didn't have to take the panel completely out. Other than that, it's a great bit of kit. And let's say, once I've used it even more, I'll probably do an upgraded version like I did on the Frontier. So hopefully, that's give you uh, as much as I can really tell you about it. Um, I like it, um, yes it's a lot of money, but if you're serious about your carp fishing and you do lots of different lakes and do lots of different sessions, then this could be for you.